Hey everyone, it's Oni Lin Lee here from One Number, and today we're going to take a look at how to build a help overlay for your dashboards in Tableau. This can be super useful when you build a dashboard and you want to make sure that your end users don't miss out on some of the functionality that you've built in. I know there are a few ways of doing this, but a super simple way is something like this. You built a dashboard and your map can filter the other sheets. That's cool. Maybe people don't know that it can do that. Um, and so what you might want is for end users to be able to click a little overlay and see some of your directions. So it's pretty much as simple as that. And that's what we're gonna to aim to build today. This workbook is in the description below if you wanna follow along. But otherwise, uh, the steps are pretty much, you need to have a completed dashboard. So you don't wanna be making big like visual changes after you've built your help overlay. So like in my case, this is my dashboard, it's built pretty much ready to go. And then what I'm going to do is take a screenshot of that dashboard and head over to some like editing, like image editing software. Like I'm just using Canva. I guess you could use anything in the Adobe suite. And I'm sure there's a ton of other, you know, uh, product that you could use for this. So all I would do is just upload this into Canva, just you know, come, copy and paste. Um, and then let me just talk you through. So this is the finished product. But when you start, it would obviously just be a blank screenshot. And this sheet is pretty much made up of these two squares, right? So it's just squares with a border and you add in some text and then the arrow is in the right place. And then these little squares are just, they're just normal squares. I chose some kind of like sepia color-ish. And then just load the transparency, not to zero, not to a hundred, right? I don't want it like completely transparent, but I don't want it to be this horrible block. So, uh oh, what are the others? Let's make sure it's the same 55. Okay, so yeah, I just dropped it onto like 55 to give you the impression that, hey, I'm not drawing your attention here, I'm drawing your attention to something else. Then I download it, head back into Tableau, and now, okay, I'm actually going to delete this so that we can do it together. But what I'm going to do now is drag in an image object and it needs to be floating. So a little uh, tip for, for those of you trying to use this is you want to make sure that you're using a fixed size dashboard. If you use an automatic size dashboard, that automatic, um, sorry, that floating object could end up all over the place. And it's going to make sure that your image object doesn't perfectly overlay the dashboard, which is what you need to give the feeling of a really nice help overlay. Um, so I'll show you exactly how to launch this now. But if you're keen to learn a little bit more about Tableau, we'd love to help. Uh, we've launched a Tableau Passport, which basically gives you access to all our classes for 50% off, as well as an office hour. And we're, we're uh, actually workshopping a couple of extra classes at the moment. So if you don't want to miss out and you want to take your Tableau training to the next level, we'd love to be a part of that journey. You can check out uh, some more information on the Tableau Passport below. So let's build this overlay. So what we're going to do is make sure that we've got a floating object and I'm going to drag in an image. You can just drop it anywhere. It doesn't matter. This little file will uh, menu will pop up. The file I'm going to choose is uh, here we go. Filter our region sheets and I'm just going to fit and center it. OK, that's that's pretty much it. This is what it's going to look like. Uh, I'm going to drag it as close to the top left as possible. But the minute my cursor goes out of the dashboard, it just drops it out. So as close as possible. And then I'm just going to use my like directional arrows actually just to get it right in the top left. And I, I think that's pretty close. And then I'm just going to drag it out to the bottom right and try and do the same thing. OK, something like that. That doesn't look too bad. Then I'm going to hit the drop down and I'm going to say add a show hide button. And you can position this wherever you want. I think I'm going to put this at the top right. Um, seems like that's a nice place to have it. So at the moment, I mean, this is going to work. I, if you hold on the alt or the options key, depending if you're on Windows or Mac, you'll see. Yeah, OK, that's not bad. Um, hmm, it's not perfectly aligned, so I might just Maybe it's not quite big enough. You know, you'll have to play around with it. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, you'll have to play around with it to get it quite right. The one thing that I think I still want to tweak over here is I want to change what this button looks like. 
uh, so that it's super clear, well, I guess as clear as it could be just using icons, that this is a help overlay. So I'm gonna click the drop down on this button and I'm gonna edit the button. And then I've got the option to edit it when it's shown versus hidden. So when the item is shown, that's when the image is shown. I'm gonna choose, uh, let's go to my Tableau repository. I've actually saved some shapes here, some icons. You can get these off flaticon.com. It's a really, really useful website and I use them for lots of things. Um, just like some standard icons. So I think this is like a, this little alert one might be a, a good like, hey, click on me if you need, if you need help. And when the item is hidden, oh, I'm doing this the other way around, wait. When the item is hidden, so when there's no help overlay, I need the alert icon to say, click on me. You can see the help overlay. When it's shown, I'm gonna go back to this like map icon, maybe like return to the map. And let's hit okay. So now you can see that in there. If we click it, yeah, nice, that's not bad. So you can add those to as many dashboards as you want. Um, recently, I did a video on using dynamic zone visibility to swap between worksheets using actions. And I actually recently built a, da built a dashboard for a client where we used dynamic zone visibility with actions and hook that up to a help overlay. So depending on what you click on and what sheets are displayed or hidden, the help overlay changes as well. So that's pretty cool. You can check out that video here. Um, hopefully that's helpful. If you've got any questions, you're welcome to uh, pop those in the chat. We'd love to help. And if you've got any other topics that you want us to make some more videos on, that would be awesome. All right. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.